To find out more about the legacy, we caught up with Steve Forrest. He's been with Arthur Hills for over 30 years. Here at the legacy, we began with a rolling piece of farmland with a, a nice wooded area or two on the property. The rooting of the golf course actually began with the 17th hole, which plays around a beautiful lake. That was a hole that we knew would be a perfect fit. It's a long and strong par four, turned out to be the 17th hole. But that was really the hole around which we built the rest of the rooting. The clubhouse is located on a nice hill where you have a, a good view of the rest of the golf course. The early morning and evening, the shadows and, and shades and textures that are created are, are really beautiful. One of the true treasures in golf is Arthur Hills, and here's how he got started. Started out, grew up next to a golf course, uh, Ottawa Park Golf Course, City of Toledo. And you could play for 26 cents before noon. And that's what I started out doing, playing there frequently for 26 cents in the morning. And I grew to really love the game and played and went on to Michigan State, played on the golf team there. Got out of Michigan State and kind of thought I was going to go into a family agricultural business. But uh, turned out I went in another direction and shortly got into golf course design. Starting in 1966, uh, got it started working on a golf course in the Toledo area and another one nearby and then another and then a city course and uh, before I knew it I had a, a good base for getting jobs elsewhere and we went on and got a very nice 36 hole golf course in Middletown Ohio and from there uh, shortly after that Steve came with me and He's been with me for 30 years now, put up with me for 30 years. We don't have any set pattern for designing golf courses and that a lot of our design relates to the site where we're working and maybe even to some extent requirements or requests of the owners relative to what their end goal is. On the other hand, yeah, I think we do have some basic ideas about where we want to go with a golf course. Uh, at least uh, I might be speaking for myself and some of the other guys in the office uh, think a little bit differently and that's fine. I'm pretty traditional. I grew up playing golf on a couple of Donald Ross golf courses and I like that style a lot. I've fairly much tried to stay with that, that style of design. Moderate sized greens and traditional golf courses as opposed to something more radical. I would conclude and say that I've probably been about as lucky as anybody could be in terms of the things I've gotten to do and the people I've gotten to work with in the last uh, 40 years. I mean, part of it is getting to design golf courses, but another big part of it is all the people that you work with through the years. I mean, you just meet some tremendous entrepreneurial people and tremendous people with great vision. And so it's been a terrific career in those respects. And as Arthur said, the people in the business are the best. So I feel very fortunate. Well, we're very fortunate to have Steve and Arthur on the show, two legends in the game of golf.